Hi, my name's Emma. I'm the School and Youth Programs Manager at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today for another Art in Action BEMA from Home. Today we're going to be talking about automatic drawing. Automatic drawing is something that was invented by artists in the Surrealist and Dadaist movement, and it really gets at this idea that your subconscious might have something to express. So while our conscious minds draw things, write things um, every day, our subconscious might help us access new ways of being creative or just free us up to access our inner creativity. Now, of course, we could debate whether or not your subconscious actually can draw, um, but I'm going to encourage you to grab something to draw or write with, um, maybe even a paint and paintbrush or pen and ink, and um, give automatic drawing a try. With automatic drawing, it might be helpful to give yourself some kind of limitation. So whether that's setting a timer and saying you're only going to draw for one minute or two minutes, or maybe you are um, choosing a smaller piece of paper like I've done here and having that be your limitation. And then once you have your drawing implement, you just kind of start. Um, I find it helpful to maybe start just by making lines or patterns and then letting myself uh, change course, add to the design as I go. Um, at times I might be drawing something that's recognizable, but a lot of the time it's not much more than doodles or scribbles. And that's really what the artists were going for, right? This idea that you're tapping into something that's more than you could plan. It's not that you're starting an automatic drawing with a vision of what it will become, but rather making something as you go, uh, letting it be experimental, and really freeing yourself up to uh, just make marks on a page and let it become what it becomes. So once you have your drawing, you can really do anything with it. Um, it can be done, just pen and ink as it is, um, or maybe you'll want to add more to it. So in a future video, I'll show you how I would use um, wax crayons and watercolor paints to do some resist painting on top of this, um, but really this could be a finished artwork the way it is. Um, so we hope that you will join us next time for Bima's Art in Action from Home.